In this example, we can see we are given that a sample of two kilogram of helium is taken through the process ABC, and another sample of two kg of the same gas is taken through the process ADC. We can see that the paths are different. We are required to find how much heat is absorbed in the processes ABC and ADC. So in this situation, we can very easily calculate the amount of heat absorbed if we are aware about the temperature at the four states, which we can very easily calculate. So the solution we can state using gas law. Mainly, always keep in mind in majority of problems you need to use gas law as a primary rule from where you can relate the pressure, volume, and temperature of a gas at any state. By gas law, we can write the temperature of the gas in a state can be written as PV upon NR. Now, in this situation, very first thing we'll calculate the number of moles. The number of moles of helium we can write. Total amount of gas is two kilograms, so it can be written as two divided by the molar mass of helium as four into ten to the power minus three. So this will be five hundred moles, which we are having. Now, using gas law, we can find out the temperature of gas in different states. As temperature in a state A, we can write as P V upon N R in a state A. Pressure is five into ten to the power four. Volume is ten meter cube divided by number of moles are five hundred multiplied by R is eight point three one four. On simplifying, this will give us the result one twenty point three Kelvin. I find out the temperature of gas in a state B. Similarly, in a state B, we can take pressure as 10 into 10 to the power 4 multiplied by volume is same as 10 divided by 500 into 8.314. You can see only this parameter is doubled, so total temperature at point B will also be doubled. Can be written as 240.6 Kelvin. You can also directly use as volume is constant from a state A to B and the pressure is being doubled, so we can write by using ideal gas law as volume is constant P1 by T1 is P2 by T2 on doubling the pressure temperature will also get doubled. Now if we find out the temperature in state C, so this can also be given as here volume is 20 and pressure is 10. So this we can write ten uh, into ten to the power four multiplied by twenty divided by five hundred into eight point three one four. Here you can see only this factor is doubled compared to this point. So here uh, the temperature will be double that of uh, the temperature at point B. So it can directly be given as 481.2 Kelvin. Similarly, we find out temperature at state D. So it can be written as 5 into 10 to the power 4 into 20 divided by 500 into 8.314. So this will be again 240.6 Kelvin, and the Temperature at a state D is equal to that of a state B. Using these temperatures, we can very easily find out the heat absorbed by the gas in the process A, B, C, and A, D, C. Now we can easily calculate the heat absorbed in the process A, B, C. As we can see in the diagram, A, B, C is composed of an isochoric and an isobaric process. So this will be heat absorbed in the process A B plus heat absorbed in the process B C, and as A B is an isochoric process here, heat absorbed can be written as N C V T B minus T A, and as B C is an isobaric process, so here heat absorbed can be written as N C P T C minus T B. Now we substitute the values. Here we can get it. 
500 multiplied by as helium is a monoatomic gas at CV can be written as 3 by 2 R. 3 by 2 into 8.314 multiplied by uh, we subtract the two temperatures it will be 120.3 plus uh, here we can again write number of moles 500 into CP is uh, for helium it is 5 by 2 R so it is 5 by 2 into 8.314. Multiplied by the difference of these two temperatures is 240.6 Kelvin. On simplifying this expression, we'll get is 3.25 into 10 to power 6 joule, which is the answer to a problem that is the amount of heat absorbed by the gas in the process ABC. Similarly, we can find out the heat absorbed in the process ADC, which is heat absorbed in the process AD plus heat absorbed in the process DC. Now, in this situation, you can see the process AD is isobaric and process DC is isochoric. So, here we use NCP TD minus T plus uh, this QDC can be written as NCV TC minus uh, TD. If we substitute the values, it will be 500 into 5 by 2 into 8.314 multiplied by, if we just calculate TD minus TA, this will be 120.3 Kelvin plus this 500 into CV is 3 by 2 into 8.314. So if we calculate TC minus TD, this will be 240.6 Kelvin. On simplifying the result, finally we are getting a 2.75 into 10 to power 6 Joule. That will also be the answer to our problem corresponding to the process ADC, the amount of heat absorbed by the gas.